inshallah the course best of the best we will be discussing with regards to Abu Bakr and Umar we talk about their lives before Islam the journey and the road to Islam we talk about the family relationship between each of them and example their children their wives the number of children number of wives their character in the days of Jahiliyyah the eventual path to Islam how they embraced Islam their lives with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how they gave their wealth and their strength and everything for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala the trials and tribulations that each one of them went through in Mecca eventually the Hijrah and journey to Medina Al Munawwara we talk about the various battles that each of them took part in with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as we know that Abu Bakr radiallahu an and Umar were not absent from a single battle with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we talk about the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's final illness how Abu Bakr radiallahu an and Umar radiallahu an held together the yoke of Islam we talk about the caliphate of Abu Bakr radiallahu an and the new rules that he might have instituted the dispatch of the army of Usama we talk about the apostate wars the conquest of the Muslims into Persian and Roman territories the battle of Yarmouk the battle of Yamama before that against the apostate the one who claimed the prophethood Musaylima al kazab we also talk about insha'Allah the final illness of Abu Bakr radiallahu an his passing away and his appointment of Umar radiallahu an to the new caliphate well insha'Allah we know that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati al khulafa al rashidin hold on to my sunnah and the sunnah of the khulafa al rashidin after me and who are the khulafa al rashidin Abu Bakr Umar Uthman and Ali these were the four most important of the sahaba they were the best of the best and that's why it's only becoming upon us to learn about them before everyone else we know that when a female had come to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she said that what happens when you pass away ya rasulullah who should i come to and give my sadaqah my zakat to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said go to these two meaning abu bakr and umar radiyallahu an he sallallahu alayhi wasallam said iqtadu billadhayni min ba'di follow the two after me meaning who meaning abu bakr radiyallahu an and umar radiyallahu an and they were the best of the best as ali radiyallahu an would say at the end of umar's life he said the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so many times would say I entered with Abu Bakr and Umar I left with Abu Bakr and Umar they were the ones who were with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at all times and they were the ones who led after the passing away of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam two point something years Abu Bakr radiallahu an was the Khalifa and for over ten years Umar radiallahu an was the Khalifa well what is unique with regards to the course best of the best insha'Allah is that number one we emphasize authenticity to the highest degree from the works of the best muhaqqiqeen on the topics number two the importance of the fawaid the details that would be mentioned in the course something that most people don't really know about Number three, we will be discussing the major events which eventually led to the Sunni Shia divide. We will have a specific discussion on the Sunni Shia polemics and also the resolve, the faith of Abu Bakr radiallahu an and Umar radiallahu an, the social interaction and these matters will be discussed bi ta'ala. This course insha'Allah is for every single Muslim, for him who wants to increase their Iman, for him who wants to learn about the personalities, the people who are the most beloved to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, for every student of history who wants to increase his knowledge with regards to these matters of history, for every student of history who wants to know that which is authentic from those matters which are false, for every student who wants information with regards to the Sunni Shia divide and the Sunni Shia polemics, for every Muslim 
who wants to learn about Abu Bakr and Umar for every lover of the Sahaba. With regards to Umar radiallahu an, we will discuss his appointment as the new Khalifa. We will discuss the various administrative changes that he had set in place. His making the judiciary a separate institute. His implementation of various new rulings and various new rules with regards to administration. His setting up the register. His setting up the diwan. We'll also talk about his continuation of the jihad into Persian and Roman territories. We'll talk about the battle of Qadisiyah, subhanAllah, that major battle. We'll discuss the assassination of Umar radiallahu an by Abu Lu'luwa, the Majusi. And we will talk about the shura which was set up by Umar radiallahu an for the choosing of the next Khalifa. And we will talk about the appointment of Uthman radiallahu an through this shura bi ta'ala.